What is up, everybody? We're rolling audio here today on episode 71 of The Hotter Show. How are you doing? I hope you have an absolutely fantastic day and week so far. Thank you so, so much for tuning and clicking that play button on today's episode of the podcast. Got a fun episode for you here today, a very goofy episode for you today. I sit down with uh, two of my best buddies in the world, and we have ourselves a little uh, pizza and pop party. Uh, we talk about a whole, whole bunch of BS, uh, ranging from gaming, we talk about the new Nintendo Switch that's coming out, we talk about why you need to have Harry Potter knowledge to go on dates, we need to talk about South Park, we talk about all sorts of stuff, they explain to me uh, what exactly Magic the Gathering is, um, we talk about um, a little bit about some more gaming stuff, um, we also discuss what well, the difference between a brownie, or sorry, a brony. And uh, any Pegasus kid, because uh, I didn't know what these terms meant. They explained it to me. It's a very fun, definitely very goofy episode. Um, it's, this was first Adam's first time on the podcast. Um, he was definitely a little nervous, but as the podcast went on, he, he got to be very, very entertaining. Matt's always a great guest, so it was a lot of fun to hang out with these two guys and do this podcast. But before we get into that, I just want to say thank you to everybody who supported uh, episode 70 of The Harder Show, the Outside EP review. I want to thank the guys for sharing it and all the positive things they had to say. Uh, very, very cool. Very exciting. Um, I did see uh, a slight spike in popularity for those seven episodes also I talked about in the beginning of uh, that podcast, my seven favorite episodes that I've done. So that's cool. I really appreciate you guys taking the time to check out the older episodes as well. The archive for all of my old episodes, episodes one through 70, is up on the SoundCloud, it's up on the iTunes, and it's even up on the YouTube. So if you ever want to go back and listen to any old episodes of The Harder Show, by all means, do it. Uh, and let me know maybe what some of your favorite episodes are. Um, I know that uh, a lot of people still say that episode 34 is one of their favorites. Um, the Mikes and Beers one was as a favorite of some people. A uh, whole bunch of different ones, So, but those are a couple that stand out for me that people have said they really enjoyed. So definitely uh, hit me up, let me know. Um, I want to thank everybody for uh, accepting my invite um, for the episode 75 live cast. It's a little different uh, the way I'm going to be doing it this time around. Um, usually when I do them, I'm at Brandon's house. Um, the producer, Brandon Bell, I'm producer of The Harder Show. Um, but unfortunately, of course, because uh, he, he is uh, basically computerless <laughs> um, yeah, for the next uh, quite a while here, uh, I'm going to be doing it myself at my place so hopefully things turn out well i have my fingers crossed this is the biggest one i've ever done um obviously because it is uh, episode 75 <laughs> um every time i do them they get bigger um, i'm really hoping things turn out well worst case scenario if i run into any issues with the computer i can pull up my phone and do it that way um i'm hoping i don't because i want to kind of make it a little a uh, little more um, not professional per se, but just a little more enjoyable if you guys make sure there's no audio issues or any uh, clips, clipping in the video or any of that kind of thing. But we'll see what happens. Uh, either way, I'm very, very excited to be able to hang up with you guys. We're going to do Q&A stuff. We're going to talk a bunch of random bullshit and all that kind of thing. It's going to be an absolute blast. Um, and I hope to see a lot of uh, familiar uh, screen names. <laughs> um, and I think uh, doing it on the Facebook is the better choice. Uh, I think it's just a little more accessible for some people. I know some people have had issues in the past with the YouTube. They've had to sign into Gmail, and if they don't have a Gmail account, they have to make a Gmail account. It's just a big bunch of BS. So if you have Facebook, which if you're listening to this podcast, there's probably about a 98% chance you have Facebook, um, then I uh, you'll be able to access it much, much easier. So I'm really, really looking forward to that, guys. I'm so excited. I need to thank Jason um, from Jaybridge's Larch for his awesome work on the graphic that I put up. Um, you will probably see a graphic like that uh, to be kept in rotation, so to speak, um, on all my social medias after this is over because I like it so much. But uh, definitely be sure to Jason if you need anything like that. I know I also give him an ad spot in the podcast, late in the podcast, but you can never thank Jason enough because he's a great guy and does great work. So shout out to him. Shout out to everybody uh, who has made the harder show what it is. Thank you all very much. I uh, am very happy and I'm, I'm still so uh, just blown away the fact that we're, we're, we're 70 episodes in at this point. I have no plans of slowing down. Um, I actually recorded a whole bunch of podcasts uh, the other day um, and uh, I really hope you guys enjoy them. Uh, so I have a nice little uh, archive, so to speak, of some, some good episodes that will be getting out to you guys over the next uh, next few weeks. And I actually just... Uh, have clarified that I have a very awesome interview happening this week. 
um, well, interview-esque podcast. I don't like to call them interviews, but uh, I can promise you guys it's going to be great. Um, I will put up a sneak peek on my Snapchat. You can follow me at Terrence James. That's T-E-R-A-N-C-E, James, J-A-M-E-S. Um, I can tell you guys this. A little sneak peek here. Um, it's a band. Uh, it is a local band. Not a crazy local band as far as like in like Newcastle Mobile area, but they're a local band. And um, I've been trying to get these guys on the podcast since episode one. So it has finally worked out. They are a great group of dudes. And um, I am so excited to be able to do this. I'm so pumped. But all that out of the way, let's get into today's podcast with Matthew and Adam. Let's get into it. So we're hanging out here at the kitchen table slash dining room table in the Harder Show Studios here, aka my basement apartment. And I'm hanging out with uh, two of my buddies. We're having a little uh, pizza and pop party. So I decided, uh, you know, well, what do you do at a pizza and pop party? Well, you, you turn on the microphones. So we're hanging out with uh, the Mark Matthew Cannons. How's it going, everybody? Uh, we're breaking cave a little bit right now, but I haven't Matt on, but we'll talk about that in a minute. And of course, uh, to my left, we are being joined by an individual who is making his second appearance on the podcast, his first official appearance on the podcast. We heard him on the Skype episode I did with Brandon and this gentleman, and that would be uh, 2027's Man of the Year, Mr. Adam Linlaw. Thank you. Thank you. And he's going to play his character again. Uh, we, we've already tried to do this intro once, and uh, it was five minutes of random banters. Um, I'm crazy. Save the kangaroos. I might I might put that up uh, another time um, as like an exclusive for SoundCloud or something. I don't know because I think it's funny, but uh, we, we have some things I want to actually talk about. Um, we are a uh, whole bunch of stuff like that. And, Hashtag and, uh, best friends. Yeah, best friends, ladies and gentlemen. Forever. <laughs> Forever. No, no, no. Five ever. Five ever. Because it's more than four. <sighs> God damn it! <laughs> All right. So. Hashtag math for life. So Adam's staring out the window again. The cat. Uh, <laughs> Can you just be serious? For like five I'm trying, but the issue is, it's like, I just find it odd just staring at Matt the whole time. We're staring at you. I just don't know what to do with my eyes. Well, just, just, I don't know, look around. Stare, I am looking stare around. Stare at Matt. I mean, you're st- it's just, you're, st- you're like, yes, hello. It doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It okay. doesn't matter what you say. It doesn't matter what your name is. Okay, so, um, earlier in the week, when we decided we were going to do this, um, I think it was it was Adam first messaged you or me yeah, or whatever. Adam it was. messaged me. I yes. don't know if he messaged you or he did. Actually, I talked to TJ. He said, "Let's do a podcast." I said, "You know what? I've never done that before." I said, "I agree. I will ask my friends." I asked Matthew. He said, "Okay," but he had to make sure that I he said, could could keep face with KFab. I said, <laughs> "Okay." He said, "Okay," but we got to keep it KFab. <laughs> so now, now what he's referring to is because Adam doesn't know what KFab means. So K-fab. we're going to explain this, kayfabe. Um, so, so what kayfabe, what exactly is kayfabe, Matt? You want to explain that? Kayfabe is... Is that keeping, a kind of drug? <laughs> yes. No, it's uh, where you try to keep uh, storylines and everything all real, but it's not. Or separate. It's separate. It's trying to keep your like on-screen persona uh, the same throughout. Because if you do something out of character on like a TV show or something... You're breaking kayfabe. You're breaking the experience of being that character. So it's a wrestling term. And what it is, is like, say you've got, um, when CM Punk was doing the Second City Saint thing with his little group, the Straight Edge Society, Yeah. Um, there was a girl he had who joined the group as a straight edge. She got her head shaved and all this kind of stuff. And then like a month later, she was out at the bar drinking and she got fired because of it. Because they were like, like, you play a straight edge on TV and then you're out at the bar. What the hell? So as far as, so so what he meant by breaking kayfabe is because uh, on episode sixty six of the Harder Show, uh, the Mike's and Beers episode, um, featuring Garrett dies, Coles, featuring Garrett, uh, Matt died. I, I'm still <laughs> upset with you, Garrett. Yes. I wanted to live, but clowns, all the clowns for you, Garrett. I hope you're listening to this. Speaking of clowns, clowns, clowns are in- everywhere in BC. Everywhere. I'm um, sorry to break that, but Canadian Tire just took off a bunch of clowns. Um, from their store because they found that it was adding, it was just too scary for kids. Now you know. Yeah, what the hell's up with that? So basically, um, I saw this the other day too. I'm sitting there reading for something. And I was like, oh, Candy and Tire and a bunch of retailers have taken down all like the killer clown and scary clown masks because it's freaking people out. Well, with them being so readily available, 
means there's more people going to be walking around as these clown figures because they find it funny where other people find it terrifying where I don't know if these clowns are actually terrifying or if it's just the fact of people playing on the fact of people are scared of clowns and they're just like I don't understand I don't know what's going on well it's creating Persona. an unsafe environment in Oshawa three kids were actually charged because they were the driver was driving erratically and dangerously was charged with two other people that were putting their heads out of their car with clown faces hashtag this isn't right and they're trying to be cool and funny i was coming out with the hashtags today uh, and they're trying to be funny and the thing is is what, what's going to happen eventually especially in especially since now they've come to ontario what we're going to find happen is there's going to be some stupid fucking kid he's probably going to be from bowenville uh, <laughs> i don't know why <laughs> build a wall he's, he's probably going to be from bowenville we're going to build a wall i was going to make Adam's going to make Newcastle great again. Um, <laughs> Mayor of Newcastle. He's going to make Bring the jobs back to Newcastle. Yeah, he's going to make Newcastle great there again. There was jobs in Newcastle? You need a comb over, bro. We got to get you a comb over. You'll be Donald Trump. You'll be the Donald oh. Trump of the podcast. Hashtag fake tans. Fake tans. Oh, you can do Mr. Garrison's fake tans. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I like the sprays, man. Yeah, because you get some spray tan just for your face. Can you imagine? I, I already got an orange butt. I think I can do this. <laughs> you, should go up Hall- you should go up Halloween dressed as Donald Trump. Oh, I, I think can't. I think you do Mr. Garrison better. <laughs> Mr. Garrison. I gotta fuck them all to death. Let's make this country great again. Now, when you say you're gonna fuck them all to death, what exactly are you saying, sir? I say that we round them all up and fuck them until their spirits leave their bodies. <laughs> then, like, later on, he's like, you know, I didn't actually say that we're, we're gonna fuck them all to death. And then, like, it goes back to the thing of him <laughs> literally saying it. Yeah. Oh, it's uh, that, that, South, that South Park season has been on point. It's been all fleek. Hashtag well, since they've gone to uh, like a continuous storyline, I think it was last season that they started yeah. it. It's honestly been a little bit better yeah. than the random one-offs and making no sense type. Well, they still made sense within their own uh, episode, yeah, episodes, it but it was yeah. like now you got a long stretching jokes. So but it's not like you just have to use all that material in one episode and then never use it again. I don't know. I still think my favorite episode was Imagination Land, and that was over three episodes, if yeah. I am right. Yeah. Can you Google that, please, TJ? It's three episodes. <laughs> it's three episodes, I'm pretty sure. My favorite, it's three or two. My favorite's the um, the one where, where uh, Eric becomes uh, the general from the uh, Civil War. No. And he, uh, he they do the, the, the peppermint schnapps, and they're going to fight. <laughs> And and he like he sent he sends the friggin' letter to uh, Mrs. Carbon when Kenny dies, <laughs> dearest Mrs. Carbon, <laughs> like oh dearest Mrs. McCormick, and even though it appears that your son has been the only casualty of this war, <laughs> like, this war is like something from us all, <laughs> even though your son appears to be the only casualty. <laughs> and he wants to stand and cow, dearest stand and cow, I hate you guys. <laughs> like it's just. <laughs> It's fucking. Great. Has Kenny not been in this season at all? If you look at the beginning episodes, it shows him in the grave. He is dead in the season. Okay. Yeah. Bring Kenny back. Bring Kenny back. Well, we already know that Kenny is Mysterion, right? And so he can come back. So he where can is come he? back. So where is he? When will the storyline stop? Who knows? Please comment in the link below. I'm just good at this. <laughs> Please comment in the link below to let us know what you think we'll have with Kenny. But I was talking about uh, the kayfabe thing, just to end that off real quick. So, um, because Matt died in episode 66, he hasn't been on the podcast since. And the whole thing was, I was I had this whole elaborate storyline planned out, even though I thought, a part of me thought it was really lame. Oh, yeah, um, I was in like, talk to Matt from like, Beyond the Grave. X-Men did it first. Yeah. Um, Simpsons did it. Simpsons did it. And, and, and then I was like, oh, well, I was going to wait to have Matt on the podcast again until the second... Uh, mics and beers um, and then we were going to bring him back to life and then it'd be fine but I, I didn't know when that was going to happen it's probably going to happen for a while and I was like I want to do this podcast day with you guys so I was like fuck like, what do I do so I, I first I was like you know what we're going to do uh, alternate well, alternate like uh, realities like on the you Flash. could just reboot, reboot the system like Spider-Man like once or twice oh, three times all three times so what's the better one well I haven't seen the newest one but I would say number two Amazing Spider-Man yeah, I like yeah, that one. Amazing Spider-Man is the best. I like that one. I, I like the original. Yeah, Tobey Maguire was pretty good in the first one, but the next but, two was... Yeah, and, the third one was like emo Spider-Man, no. Andrew was pretty good. I liked him like, I liked, both. I liked where they were going with the second uh, series. Oh, like, hold on, Matt, amazing. before you go. Spoiler alert is ahead. Go on, Matt. But no, I liked where they were going with everything and the fact just to feel the uh, way it was going yeah. and the fact they were setting up for the Sinister Sticks and all that stuff, but then... Andrew Garfield got it aligned with in the Sony developer's eyes, and 
they just scrapped everything. Fucked up. <laughs> Plus also the fact that... You done they, fucked up, Andrew Garfield. Mar- Marvel just wanted to change. They didn't want to go with that storyline. That The other thing was is that they went for the... Uh, they had a deal going with Disney to make a Spider-Man a crossover. So yeah. they had to make it either keep him or have a new Spider-Man. and Yeah, make Disney great again. Make Disney's Disney. already great. Make Disney great again. <laughs> um, there, there were so many good... In our childhood, The Little Mermaid... Remember? Ah, uh, remember Little Mermaid? Sleeping Beauty? Uh, Toy Sleeping Story 1, Beauty? 2, and 3? Ah, uh, do you remember what? Toy there's Story? There's Sleeping Beauty and there's only one. No, I said Toy Story. Oh, Toy Story 3. Okay. 1, 2, and 3. I'm, I'm sorry, like all these Disney Princess movies, there's only one because the spinoff movies suck. Aladdin. Okay, Aladdin, there's a couple good ones in there. Is that oh. the... the, 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 the Aladdin in the was it Aladdin in the Forty Thieves? Yeah, was that it? That was, that was the, a the solid one. The one with his picture. dad in the uh, yeah. yeah, that one was good. That's a solid movie. I think it's like number three or four. Uh, I think that was, that was number terrible. three. Yeah, because first one was um, was Safar, and then the other one was uh, Safar's Revenge or something. Yeah, like that. Safar's Revenge, and then it's Aladdin uh, with the Forty Thieves. Yeah. And the 40 Thieves. Please comment below if I said that correctly. <laughs> Please Thank comment you. below if you have knowledge <laughs> of Disney movies to make sure we're right about this. We're gonna make Disney great again, folks. <laughs> But but there's there's a couple things I wanted to ask you guys, um, and, and and one of which is something I know nothing about, and I, I always hear you guys talk about it. So I I literally just I'm just basically just gonna hang out and let you guys talk, because yeah. um, that's just what I feel like doing today. Um, what the fuck is Magic the Gathering, and can you please explain it to me? Okay, first off, I want to hear your opinion on what you think it is. From what I understand, Magic the Gathering is a card game. Um, somewhat in the same vibes as like the Pokemon and the Yu Gi Ohs, um, but it's a little more in depth. Uh, yes. From what I understand, the, the, the cards look pretty sweet. From what I've seen, um, I cannot get into the whole gameplay thing of it. I've tried before, but I, maybe it's because I didn't understand it and it seemed really, really confusing. I, all I know from Magic Gathering is what I've seen like that. Heard you guys talk about it, and uh, Cock Magic, of course, from <laughs> South Park. Uh, yeah, I will right. let Matt take this question first. Um, so overall, what's your perceptive? Like, are you? Do you feel it's a, a really nerdy thing? Or I feel that it's an extremely nerdy thing, and that only the lamest people in the world do it. All right. But think, then you guys do it. So, but, like, but TJ, do you think we're all virgins who play this game? Um, for the most part, no, <laughs> no. Okay. Uh, Magic: The Gathering is a trading card game. TCG. TCG. It's actually the oldest one out there. Uh, games like Pokemon and Yu-Gi-Oh were based somewhat off of the whole marketing and all that s- stuff of the game. Uh, it's a card where you can. there's multiple ways to play. One way is you construct your deck of 60 cards. You can have as many basic lands as you want. And then you can also... You'll only have four types of each card, or four, car, uh, four cards of any one name card. And you build your deck, you shuffle it up, you play with your with your friends and that. It's a fun game. It's a little difficult well, to learn at first. Matt, Matt so we're, we're going to need to break it down for TJ. I think we lost him. Okay. You've lost me completely. Okay, no, so TJ, I will break it down for you. So you can have anywhere from 60 to how many cards you really want to have, as long as it fits in your big bare hands. And what you have to do is really... Get, kill them, have them go down to 20 health, because we're just talking about standard stuff. We're not going to get into commander or, or plane chase or draft. So simply, your goal is to summon the best of the best, and you kill your opponent by spells or creatures that are also spells, unless you talk to Garrett, who thinks uh, they're not spells. And the goal, really, is just to have fun. Yeah, you got to have fun, DJ. The... The outer premise is two mages or wizards or whatever one you want to look at it. Dueling is the okay. Fair enough. So it's you know I'm a I'm a mage, you're a mage, and we're just casting uh, I'm spells. I'm a wizard. You're a mohawk elf. I'm mage. a warlock. I I'm a level I, hundred warlock. I identify as a level thirty seven ranger. I identify but I am as a cheeseburger. A mage. I'm a vampire. I'm Team Edward. Team Edward. I don't know identify as a vampire. Uh, I identify as a vampire. Hashtag Twilight, best movie of the decade. Feed me more. Feed me more. But so, so, so it's basically a card game, uh, but like with other stuff. Yeah. Uh, it's one of those games where it can be very simple or semi simple to the fact of can be very complex when you get into the nitty gritty of the stuff. 
and how they uh, perceive it. Like the stack, the stack is very intricate, but you guys don't need to know about that. No, I just want well, to think, just... think of it as Jenga with the stack rule. You take off one piece, you put it on the top. You take another piece, put it on the top. And then you do that enough times, and you try to understand it. Everything comes crashing down, and you cry, <laughs> you cry. and you cry for days because you thought what you were doing was right. I'm sorry. But you were wrong. I broke your uh, whole mindset when I used a stack evilly against you. Oh. So you guys had some pretty intense uh, battles, I'm assuming, between Not the two really. of you? No, um, <laughs> no okay. I'm sorry. Well, well, we, <laughs> we haven't really played that much. It's, it's, no? Well, we play a couple, but he prefers to play the game type Commander. EDH. Or EDH. Oh. And I play more casual, more fun. You know, you're having a couple brewskis, or in my case, water. Oh, no, and... it's water. Yes, because you don't drink. No, I had a rum and coke on last weekend, and I still can't really drink those properly like a real adult. And and this is why we're, we're doing the uh, pizza and pop podcast here, uh, because uh, <laughs> Adam cannot be on mics and beers. He, he just can't, because you don't drink. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's like the requirement when you come on mics and beers. You have to drink a beer and talk about random, dumb bullshit <laughs> but we can just talk about random dumb bullshit sober so yeah exactly well that's why this is yeah, why but, but then you can't use the stone cold um a uh, little voiceover insert here and it will say um i'm gonna have a beer i'm gonna have another beer i'm gonna have 12 beers a glass of wine a thing of vodka what? what a thing of rum what so on and so forth etc 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 until you are just <laughs> fucking drunk what so that's Magic the Gathering. Turned down for what? Turn, turned down for what? Say, you know what? I'm proud of you. Here's a pack of the newest stuff. <laughs> His pack we we would stuff. appreciate this. And then we open it and it's crap and we just throw it at you. I want a Planeswalker. <laughs> I, want a planeswalker. <laughs> I want a foil. I want a Masterpiece. So 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 like what's the best card? Ooh, it really like, is, it like, is it like Yu-Gi-Oh! Where like if you get like Exodia, that's it, you win? No. No. It, it's one of those things where it's very... Most expensive is Black Lotus from Alpha, but it depends on what you're trying to do. It's each card has its own value. There's a lot of cards that are worth over a hundred dollars. Fair enough. And don't I worry. never understood that. Oh, well, it, well, it's it's well, uh, how long ago they were printed, how well sought after they are, and stuff like that. Where it's the numbers of quantity doesn't match up and oh, people sure, can sure. stack up the price but, I, I but just, again it, it changes per person right it's like take me i'm not a music guy so when i hear people talking about like a soundboard right and they're like oh check out this sound effect i'm like so that cost 20 bucks more when you could have just moved your mouth a little differently yeah fair enough so it's just one of those things it's just and to me it's like you're paying a hundred dollars for a piece of cardboard or something painted on it it's like i just i don't get actually it. they're not painted they're printed <laughs> but no, it's, same thing but also that that oh, the cardboard. I have opened the can of worms. I could, uh, <laughs> I probably use as much as you use the hundred dollar soundboard. Exactly. You know, so it's in a way. Oh, I mean, I mean, a, with all dude, this soundboard, it cost a little bit more than hundred dollars, and it was a gift. But uh, it I know, is I know, I know the soundboard. I've only ever been on the hotter show with yes. the new soundboard. You ha- you didn't have to sit through the podcast when I had my old soundboard, and it was yeah. I also didn't have to sit through the podcast where you're on your iPhone. Oh, dude, I don't miss those days. Uh, I do not my miss day those days. at uh, episode six. You know, I, yeah. I I wasn't invited to the wrestling podcast where you did it at uh, Brandon's after I had to leave. Yes. They, they kicked me out of the yes, house. They kicked, we had to kick you out. We had to kick you out because I, I didn't know you, right? <laughs> and then now I'm like, man, I wish we would have gotten mad in on that all the time. But I don't know just, you. You don't you, live my you, life. You know what it was? I think was was when you still um, hated me because you had a broom. <laughs> I didn't hate you. I hated you for like oh like like. Listen, when I okay, okay, we gotta we gotta discuss this. So when Matt was on episode sixty, when he was on, um, I, I basically admitted to him that I hated him because because <laughs> he was an internet troll, and I, I can't stand people like that. And I met him, and like for the first thirty seconds, I was like, I fucking hate this guy. And then like you said something about AJ Styles, and I was like, I like this guy. <laughs> like, and then that wasn't it. It was the Royal Rumble, right? Yeah, it when was. he debuted, yeah. and then it was, and then he debuted that night. And I was like, this guy's my best friend now. Like, what the hell? So it's just like. <laughs> it happened, but because um, nobody can hate me, I'm not. I don't actually know anybody who hates Matt. I, I don't. I can't think of anyone. Yeah, I can think of probably one or two. 
Ah, screw them. Three or four, five, six, seven, eight. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah. Uh, Screw screw all of them. Um, But kind of on the topic of podcasts, um, so we have determined, um, because the Hotter Show Network is probably going to happen a lot sooner than I I, I think it's going to. Come to your local TV anywhere? No, no, it's going to be on, uh, it's it's not going to be on TV. It's going to be on SoundCloud and iTunes? It's going to be on SoundCloud, iTunes, and uh, YouTube. I, I, or I might just host everything on a website. I don't know yet. Yeah. Um, but my whole thing is I want like seven shows, right? And this, each day there's a new show, right? It's going to be a lot of Side Boob work. Hour. The Side <laughs> Boob Hour hosted by Adam Lindlock. <laughs> don't worry. On the Side Boob Hour, you'll see all the side boobs. But unfortunately, it's going to be in podcast form. So you just have you to imagination. He's just going to be like, check out this side. This is an hour of Adam going, check, check out this side, side boob. boob. How about this side, side boob? You don't need to see. You just have to hear. He'll he'll describe uh, each boob for you. It's this one I, I little long the, uh, whisker. I think he's going to go with the only side boobs that are being shown are men's, but... <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that would be the best podcast ever. Just Adam describing side boob. Tom Brady side boob hour. (laughs) Tom Brady side boob hour. All right, it's signed. It's done. It's signed. uh, See, that's a better idea than my original idea for you. Because I was like, Adam needs his own show. Um, And originally it was going to be the Adam show. Now, do you remember the Adam show? This was when you you came to my house, like, when we were, like, fucking, like, 16. And... um, I remember, uh, I, used to re- remember I used to like record everything because I was yeah. weird long before I even knew what a podcast was. I remember that time very greatly. Yeah, Matt wasn't here, um, but uh, he, he, Matt remembers. Oh, he man does. I man You know what I should do? I should find some of those old recordings and put them up just for the sake of doing it. They're, um, they're probably still in your MySpace. My, my, oh, my MySpace doesn't exist anymore. No? I, went, I searched for it the other day. It doesn't exist anymore. Oh, my God. I don't know. Me I've off. been on MySpace in forever. All I remember is like I had like famous stars and straps shit everywhere. <laughs> Aren't you still uh, on mute there, uh, Matt? No, he's, no I'm off. No, he's on. He, I've, he, I've already unmuted. I'm, he broke kayfabe, Ab, and God damn it. I was being so good by sneaking around. He just DJing. literally got up and left and got a drink and came back, and I didn't even hear him do it on the podcast. So that's good. You had to ruin See, you told me I have to stare at him, so I saw it all happen. <laughs> I saw it with my own two I'm, eyes. I'm sorry you're falling in love with me, Adam. I'm not into dudes. Even On if he next was, week's that. Uh, show, we're going to have Matt side boob hour. We're going to have Matt's just s- pictures of Matt's side boob. All right. I'll do it too. It'll be great. <laughs> uh, Adam's side boob hour. Um, but We will pluck all the hair so they look all professional. Oh my God. He's a model. There's hand models. Then there's foot models. And then side there's side boob, boob models. <laughs> Matt, Sorry, Matt he's Cannon. A side boob model. Um, but but my original idea for your show. Side boobs need love too. Side boobs need love too. Because um, we have the recordings of the Adam show, and it was like just I don't, I don't ever I should really look them up. I'm gonna insert one right here if I can find it. But so that was the thing. If I even found it, if not, that's gonna make no sense. I'm not editing it because that's what I do. Um, but so I was like, it's gonna be the Adam editing show. Editing takes time and money. Yeah, editing takes time and money. Neither of which I have. Um, like literally, when we're done recording this podcast, I have to do like three more podcasts. Really? Because I have no time to do them sometime during the week now. So I gotta make, I gotta take whatever chance I can get. Um, I broke cafe, but that's okay. Um, so I was like, it's the Adam Show, but then I'm like, no, like it needs a better name than that. So now it, it, it's gonna be uh, Adam Mintlop and the group of somewhat average gentlemen. So even if I'm doing the podcast alone, I will yes. have my imaginary friends. Yeah, they're always with you, aren't they? That's the joke. Mine are. I wish they're always with me, but sometimes when I leave the house, they're like, nah, man, nah, nah. It makes me sad. They won't even come out in public with me. They don't, they're they they're ashamed to be seen with me in public. Uh, so like everyone else then. Your imaginary oh. friends are ashamed to be seen in public with I, you. Hey, that's not true. My mom will love to see me in public <laughs> sometimes. He would. Shout out to Adam's mom. She's awesome. Um, <clears throat> but what we'll do with the, with the podcast is, is even if it's, we'll just have you interview people. Okay, works for me. Like, and it'll be Adam Lutlop and 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 a couple of, of of somewhat average gentlemen, and I'll just like it doesn't matter who it is. I'll so just basically, it's going to end up being um, Zach Galifianakis's show. Uh, sure, yeah, the ferns, but where better. it just randomly asks stupid questions. Yeah, but I mean, if I could get Obama on my uh, podcast, yeah. I'd be in heaven. And two ferns, you know, how expensive ferns are. You, do you think I'm made of money, Matt? I can't afford two I'll, ferns. I'll, I'll make it happen. Be, we'll between do two toilets. There between you go. Two, between, between like a couple stalls. No, we're going to be a couple whoa, stalls whoa, podcast. Whoa, whoa, no. <laughs> no. That's great. Oh, uh, I, a T- TJ's stalls break podcast. the time podcast. <laughs> uh, man, I'm just making up podcasts. Like yeah, I'm just going to go. Uh, don't, to don't mind all the people making uh, sounds around me. Splash noises. Yes. <laughs> 
this a couple stalls podcast. Are, are you in be- a splash pool? <laughs> nah. <laughs> like no, like just have a completely normal conversation, but between two, st- in between two stalls, uh, a couple stalls, just see, but, add them in one but stall. I, I think that will get a lot of the guys, but to get the women, I think we should do between two cats. <laughs> Who doesn't like two cats? Me. Yeah, no, but like th- now we're I copying. Like one cat. Now we're copying ideas. A couple stalls podcast is just it would literally be. Like we'd have to like find a bathroom somewhere that, could, that is accessible, yeah, but, and it's but, like but we could the just. Ish, the issue with that though is you have a higher chance of getting arrested. You're like, hey, well, the, you yeah, know, this is we why we need like a private it? building or something. You know what I mean? I'm gonna put my foot underneath there. Do you know in some places that is actually a term to have a handy underneath the stall? <laughs> Seriously? Yeah, <laughs> that, that right. the foot thing. Someone actually got arrested, a politician in the states. I think it was Florida. And um, what ended up happening was they were doing a little thing with their foot, and it ended up turning out to they were trying to get the, who was an undercover cop at that time, to give them some sort of sexual satisfaction, either a jerk or some I sort feel of. Like just whipping your dick out would be a lot easier. <laughs> but you're between fashion. two stalls. You're between two stalls. A couple of stalls with Adam <laughs> A yeah. couple of stalls podcasts. Yeah, and, and, and apparently in some of the states have like a whole. In between two oh, stalls. Oh, it happens. That's glory holes. They're all over the place. Exactly. And Someone tried cutting one out at one of the stalls at the travel center. Oh, really? Yeah, I caught them doing it the other day. It was the funniest <laughs> thing I've ever experienced. Like, he had a saw in his hand. And like, I trying, saw him walking. Trying to cut the, a... Yeah, bro. I saw him walking in the bathroom. Was he a trucker? Like, uh, yeah. Because yeah. <laughs> I saw him walk, and I'm like, I didn't really think. like It wasn't like a saw saw. It was like a little, like, you know, like the drywall saws. It was like one of those, yeah. right? So I saw him walk in with it in his and like kind of in his pocket, and I didn't really think anything of it. I was like, oh, maybe he was doing something. And then I'm like, well, like I shouldn't really let him walk around with that. So I kind of went in after him, and there's no. It was just it was like eleven o'clock at night. No one was in there, so I'm kind of standing there, like looking around. I can't find him, and all I hear is like this like weird noise, and this dumbass is sitting in the stall trying to puncture the stall wall with this knife. The drywall stalls will not puncture those walls because yeah. they are st- uh, metal plated. Well, these ones, like these ones, the way our partitions are, is they're just like a, a wood material. Oh, they're but wood? But they okay. still won't. It's like a hard wood. Yeah, Remember, I've, knowledge is power, guys. I don't know. I've never actually been in that travel yeah. center washroom. You, sh- you should. You should. Uh, he just cleans that. You could eat off the floor there. When man. I am on probably... duty, it's the best. I'd probably shit all over the wall, and you'd make me clean it up. <laughs> clean up my poop. <laughs> pick up my poop. <laughs> I, dro- I, uh, I dropped my phone. Pick it up. <laughs> pick it up. Pick it up. No, not with your hand. With your teeth. <laughs> Get your grabber. We have a poop grabber. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'll do? I'll poop in it, then put an apple. Do you want to go apple picking? Oh, God. <laughs> want to go apple picking? Oh, why? But don't worry. Oh, I had thing. pumpkin seeds, asparagus, and corn last night. Are you man enough, TJ? <laughs> I, I, some of the stuff I've picked up and had to witness. With your mouth building, or? I, well, not with my mouth, but uh, some of the stuff I've had to like. Be, live through in that place. Matt, why don't you turn your mic off? Just the laughing doesn't that's okay. You can laugh all you want. I don't care. Yeah. No, I'm just trying to, you know. Be more professional? Is that what you're yeah, trying to do? I'm trying to be professional. Why? Why? Is this podcast not good enough for you? You need to be more yeah, professional? You, you, yeah, remember that? You I'm, better than I'm, I'm interviewing you better than for me? better podcasts. You better than me? You better he's, than he's me? He's used to listening to much better podcasts. <laughs> don't worry. Much you can just edit this host. out. Insert racial term. How much? How much? How like? What do you think I do? Uh, I don't have time to edit everything. That was Brandon's job. This computer decided to blow up. Freaking God guy. damn it, Brandon. God damn it, Brandon. What are we going to do with you? Shout out to Brandon. He's not the producer anymore. He's just Brandon now. Oh uh, he's just Brandon, that guy. We quote unquote, knew. former producer of The Hotter Show. Yeah. No, he's always going to be the producer of The Hotter Show. Just uh, His computer's still still fried. So. Brandon, the uh, ex-employee of The Hotter, Brandon, Hotter Show? Oh, he's going to have all his interns. Well, he eventually. was fired. Well, he, he's going to have his own podcast on The Hotter Show Network as well, whether he likes it or not. Hey, stop breaking kayfabe. <sighs> Why am I breaking kayfabe saying that? Because he got fired. Oh, yeah, he got fired. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so... Um, I want to. I want to ask you guys. But if it's like, but to be fair though, like all wrestling storylines, you're fired, and then they come back three months later. So technically, Under they never really got fired. And that's how we're gonna do it here. But, you're um, fired. But but something that you. T J McMahon. T J McMahon. I like that. I'll, I'll be my gimmick. Copyright of the. Hotter show, <laughs> the hotter show podcast. He doesn't even remember the name. He's like, oh, what the fuck? Where? What am I on? Oh yeah, I, I thought I was between two stalls again. Sorry. He's, no, it's a couple of stalls, not cu- between two stalls. Because that then people it, like, oh, that's I'm a just couple wondering, can we can terms. we do uh, uh, a couple of porta potties? 
We could do that too. Like a couple of poor parties. Like I need to like find somewhere. Maybe I should just build like two stalls like randomly. <laughs> and like it'll be like the joke. Like oh we're like. Between you both two, walk into a washroom and just. Between two w- cubicles. Well sorry. Well, well the funny thing is. If we. Between two stalls. Just have two of TJ's old vehicles. <laughs> Uh, to show the fact that all my vehicles have sucked. <laughs> that no truck one got was that. a good investment. No one got that. So I have, I have to explain. So uh, the last three vehicles I have had um, have all either broken down and just not worked anymore, or I've had to take off the road because they're just terrible. Um, my S10, of course, my Jeep, and then now lately my Neon, RIP Neon. Uh, even though the Neon's still running fine, it's just a lot of issues. But anyway. Um, the tape on the windows. The tape no, on the window. Runs fine. Brakes that can't get work. over first gear the it's still running fine alright guys just want to take a quick second here to give a big shout out to the first ever sponsor and big time supporter of the Hotter Show my man Mr. Jason Reese over at Jaybird Digital Arts now what exactly does Jason do well if you guys need any kind of logos t-shirts posters album design tickets photo manipulation you guys still with me advertising business stationery mailers brochures fine art <gasps> and literally anything else you can think of Jaybird Digital Arts can create it no project is just a generic template and every single job is a new opportunity to create something unique jason's in all the harder show logos t-shirts banners and even a meme here and there so i can promise you that you will love and be inspired by what jason comes up with you can find him on the web at www.jbird that's j-a-y-b-i-r-d digitalarts.com or you can find him on facebook under the Jaybird Digital Arts handle, as well as on Instagram. If you happen to use his services, be sure to let him know that TJ sent you. Today is my 100th birthday! You guys need to know about an awesome local all ages event coming up. Out of My League presents Bilbo's 111th Fest. Featuring over 10 local bands such as Drag the Lake, Out of My League, My Home, The Catacomb, Fear the Unknown, Crane, Artery Recording on a False Fire, and more. This awesome event is happening November 12th at the Italian Club at 234 Simcoe Street, South Oshawa. $10 at the door. Check the event page for more details. This is going to be one hell of a party. Something that Matt actually brought up earlier that I wanted to uh, kind of bring back up. It was before we were talking on the podcast here. Um, Harry Potter. Now, Matt, you said something er- earlier that, that made me laugh. Um, you were like, oh, I need to start watching Harry. I need to rewatch like, all the Harry Potters. And I'm like, oh, you like Harry Potters? You're like, well, not really. But I feel like if like when I go on a date, I need to know Harry Potter knowledge. And I'm like, what the fuck are you talking about? So could you please explain to the world what to, well, why you need this? I have a enough Harry Potter knowledge, but it's the fact of it just seems like every girl nowadays is all obsessed with Harry Potter. Not saying it's a true. bad thing, but it is true. You know, so it's one of those things where it's like if you at least have enough knowledge to pass by, it you know, it makes it easier uh, starting out. If you so believe Harry Potter is a mutant, you're not going to get a first date. <laughs> so basically, if you talk crap, what you're saying is if, if you, you talk think, crap uh, about Harry Potter, if you think Harry Potter has a ring to go to Mount Doom, you, you still might get a date. You, you probably, probably won't get a date. date. You're probably not going to get a date. If folks. you think that Harry Potter is taken out in space like Star Trek or Star Wars, you're not going to get a first date. If, if you think Harry Potter is a Sith, <laughs> you're not going to get a first date. If you think he is a Sith, if you think Voldemort is the uh, Emperor of the Dark Side, you're probably going to get a date again. <laughs> if you think Jar Jar Binks is in the. Harry Potter, you're not going to get a date. If you think Harry Potter is Team Edward, you'll probably get a first date. <laughs> so what's more important, Twilight or Harry Potter? Harry Potter. Harry Potter. Yeah, I would agree. With the because Notebook. The Note. Uh, he's not. He's not wrong, folks. He's not wrong. <laughs> it makes me cry every time. See, Adam's the kind of guy who he'll like, just he'll I'll, just watch the Notebook alone just to watch it. Well, it, I've done well, that with a bunch of other movies. Well, from that I, have, I have to watch it to lighten up my mood when I um when I watch A Walk to Remember. With Mandy Moore. I will remember Does you. Does that not also have a... Uh, um, what's his name? Uh, Anakin Skywalker? No. I you won't get a first date that way if you no. don't know. If who you that refer is. to Hayden um, Christensen as Anakin Skywalker, you probably won't get a first date. It's not Hayden Christensen. It's... Uh, isn't... Or is that a different movie that has... Uh, 
Shawn uh, Michaels? Edward. Scissor from, hands? Uh, no, Edward from uh, Twilight. No, different one. Yeah. Different movie. Yeah. It's See, something about Remember. That is Remember Me, and it's actually a pretty good movie. It was based on the World Trade Centers. Spoiler alerts ahead. It was actually a pretty good movie. What were the spoilers? It was based on the World Trade Center has come down. That's oh, for fuck's sake! <laughs> but no, it was like the the. Spoiler- Wait, dude. Okay, hang on, hang on. Okay, so I say to Adam before we start this podcast, I'm leaving that in, by the way. Um, so if you're offended, I apologize. Blame Adam. Um, I, I say to Adam, you know, swear all you want. The and, and like I always say, the only things I ever ask is there are certain jokes you just cannot make because. That I know there are some people who listen to this who they'll hear something like that and they'll go, "Wow, that's not okay, right?" But, Most people. Yeah, I know, but but to be uh, clear though, we are you don't going know off a plot. Yeah, but to be fair though, you don't because technically it's not that the World Trade Centers go down. You actually don't know that that's the part of the movie until you see him in the World Trade Center in a plane is coming at him. Yeah, that's, so technically it's not an offensive joke. That is the end of the movie. Yeah, it's so the, TJ, uh, I want enough. you to Okay, fair enough. Fair it's the plot twist in the end. Yeah, I want Turns you out he's to in the World Trade Center. retract yeah. huh. that uh, comment, TJ. I retract my comments. Adam is not Because you have not <laughs> co- per, uh, comprehended the fact that we're talking about uh, a movie, movie. spoiler yeah. alert. I don't know I don't know movies. Like Adam's like my movie friend. Like I know if I'm going to watch a movie, I could probably hex Adam and be like, "Yo, is this movie any good?" And he He'd probably be able to give me a, a yeah, solid. Like rating. I was watching Mascots last night. Oh, I that thought, was. Uh... I thought it would be a pretty good movie. I thought the guy from uh, Silicon Valley, which I do recommend, season one and season two. Yeah. They are on HBO right now. If you have HBO now, I'll let you watch it. So we're going to take a quick pause here. Okay, good. Or so you've probably you seen a, a trailer. Thanks for coming back. Yeah. Or if you have a Morpheus from um, uh, like Matrix. a bo- like one of the Android boxes, you know, here's your sign. Yeah, exactly. Go watch. All right. Thanks for coming back, guys. Yeah. Um, so I, f- I feel like I feel like I have another new podcast idea here. Uh, we're gonna do uh, Adam and Matthew review movies. Um, <laughs> okay. TJ, how's the weather out there? It's good. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. Back to Matt. Okay. So with the movie, <laughs> I- <laughs> so with, I get with, it. With, with, That's funny. With, with the movie idea. Okay. So I'm thinking we review movies. We give them our um, different type of tomato. We should use some sort of different thing. I think type of beer. So if it's well, I guess there's too many things because people are like, "Ooh, oh, dark well, beer, light beer." Well, there's beer. the uh, um, cheap beer, you know, the Bush. Yeah. To the uh, like Stella, you know, there. I think we should do level of redneck for some movies. Okay, uh, col- shade of redneck. Exactly. I was, I it, was, I was gonna say. Uh, I'll let you guys finish what you're saying in a second, but we do uh, uh, faces of TJ. <laughs> like we'll have like like f- like. Clean shaven TJ is like the worst, and then full beard TJ is the best. But TJ, I got a question though. With that, how do you see that on the podcast? Mindception. I don't know. I don't know. Actually, fair enough. <laughs> Voiceception. Hey, hey, maybe we're gonna be the video podcast. Oh, because I gotta have I gotta have some kind of a video. But podcast. but but with the faces of TJ though, I just want to know. So if there's the unshaven TJ, what is that? Unshaven TJ. What do you mean? You that'd be like, that'd be like, the, like, like, like full beard mode TJ so are is the we go, best TJ. Are, so are you going to say you're going to so, shave your beard so we can take pictures of you? I have uh, pictures of me without a beard. Five times. As it progresses, yeah, I'll do that. If that ever happens, I will do that. And we'll, we'll, it'll be like like a zero, like a, the worst rating is clean shaven TJ. And then like, you know, poo stash TJ is like yeah. a one. I don't know. <laughs> I, I, the only thing I think we should change with that, just because I know someone will dislike this, but we should do the different hairstyles of TJ. Bring back long hair TJ. Long Hashtag. hair TJ just for one uh, one one day so I can take a picture. If of Goldberg's table. able to come back, I think long hair TJ can come back. Long hair TJ is going to make a comeback. Hashtag no wig TJ. No wig TJ. Sam won't let it happen. She'll shave my hair before it. Uh... <laughs> well, you know what? We'll take her extensions. Hashtag don't kill me. She doesn't have extensions. Hashtag really don't kill me. <laughs> really don't kill me. Uh, it's okay. Sam doesn't listen to the podcast anyway, so it's okay. Oh. <laughs> it's just a so, t- so, TJ, I can tell in your voice you're a little upset with that. So, how does it feel your girlfriend doesn't listen to your podcast? It sucks sometimes. Yeah. But uh, th- th- then she decides to scare the shit out of me during the uh, Facebook live stream. Uh, um, so, that was okay. She got, got me in it for it. It was yeah. kind of more funny watching it and watching your your reaction to it. I was watching a than- YouTube video of it because I thought it was hilarious. Because you're just like... You're like, I see you over there, Kendall. I see you. I know I you're there. So oh <laughs> There's my God. something in the water. Yeah. I was getting so mad. It was so funny. But um, so something else I want to talk to you guys about uh, that's just kind of been announced in the gaming world. 
Um, and I was leaving this up to Matt to bring up, but I'm going to I'm going to bring it up. And that's the are Nintendo you going to have switch. a? Oh, I was going to say you, you were going to have a switch of topics there. Uh, uh, that's punny. I don't know. Have you, so you've guys seen the uh, trailer yeah. and that for the uh, Nintendo Switch? Yeah, I see the guy stealing his own system out of his house, <laughs> bringing it on a lot of things. Yeah, I've seen him steal stuff. Yeah. Uh, honestly, I don't. I have mixed feelings about it. I, I don't know. I think it's going to end up being like everything else where you have it and it's portable, but really it has a battery it, life of 30 minutes and then it will die. Yeah, it doesn't look like it's going to have a long battery life. Uh, if you're holding it by these... Uh, I think they, what is No, what do they call them? They, they call them... Uh, Nubs. Uh, something with... Uh, in, in, like in joysticks or something like that. Like they're, they have some really stupid name mixed with joy uh, for them. Joysticles. Joysticles. <laughs> okay, they're joysticles. Okay, and you have a joysticle in both hands or one hand? <laughs> both hands. Okay. Because you have two joysticles. Okay. Like normal people. Yeah, okay. Um, but, you know, who says the tablet part of it is not going to just fall out? You know? So if you bring your joysticle, like they say, onto an airplane, do you think you could get arrested for that? Uh, Probably. Yeah, because... If you I turn know, it on during if, the flight, if you start, If you start uh, playing with your joysticles, I think they might... Uh, Arrest you. I can that. say from experience, if you whip out your joysticles while on a plane, it is very frowned upon. Yeah, but if you say I'm just playing with my neo dogs, you think they would get upset with that? See, I don't understand how that's a that's a pun. Uh-uh. Oh, that wasn't a pun. I'm just saying with your joysticles and you're playing with your neo pets and peanut butter. <laughs> did, Matt, did you have a neo pet back in the day? You remember neo pets? Do you ever have a neo pet? I yeah. had a neo pet. I had. Uh, a, did you have a neo pet? Oh, of I course think, I did. I Actually, had... I remember you having neo pets because we've been friends that long. I remember neo pets. I, I had a, I think ch- a ch- dragon. Ch- you, you had have... a dragon. So I had, I had like, like actual animals. I don't yeah. know. I, I I think I played it for maybe like twenty minutes each time I made an account. <laughs> each time I made an account, he I made still like has it. Too. Still has it. And still plays it. I feel like you're one of those guys who like secretly plays My Little Pony. Is, is, is there any truth to this? How'd you know I was a brony? No. <laughs> How'd, you, I, how'd you know? I think, Attention, I am not a brony. Screw bronies. <laughs> but brony. the only thing I find kind of funny about that when they say brony, I just think of New York and they call it the Bronx. Yeah. I just feel like that's where it comes from is that people in New York, they're um, in the Bronx are really bronies. Well, I think you're a Pegasus sister. Okay, let me Google what that insult is. <laughs> let me Google what that uh, let means. Let me go to my technical advisor, TJ. What <sighs> is whatever that is? I'm supposed to have a, a producer do this, but uh, I'm gonna look up what. Okay, you know what? Either. You know what? His internet's bad. Explain to this to me. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be. It's a, a female that likes My Little Pony. So basically, he's calling it, you a woman who likes My Little Pony. I. It's a brony is a man that likes My Little Pony. A Pegasus sister is a woman that likes My Little Pony. Yeah, but you know what? You just insulted all of Scotland. Cause, okay. Cuz they're um they're uh ugh, sorry, they're um Come on, you're the man that knows everything. <laughs> I don't know what no, that's me. God, you're no, he's, me out. You're I'm the one that me out. knows everybody. You're the one well, that knows everybody. Well, I'm just everything. saying their their state animal, their country animal is the unicorn. Is it? Yeah. So, so, so because, I mean that's a freedom is a as mystical as the uh, <laughs> yeah, I know we were talking about Never Pegasus, happened. but they're both mythical little horse little figures. Just throwing that out there. I know the difference. Pegasus has wings. Yeah, unicorns have a horn. They're still both shaped after horses. And TJ has a beard. I have a beard. He has resting beard face. You look like a dog pissed off. Yeah, you look like a du- uh, dog's butt. <laughs> <laughs> All hairy and such. All hairy and such with a little opening. <laughs> my mouth. Yeah. And then oh, when fun. you eat sometimes and you get a little stuff in the beard, it's like yeah. you poop the hair. Oh, it's so, it's so bad, bro. I, I was at work the other day and I'm sitting there eating my chili, right? I eat chili all the time at work. And I guess some From dripped Wendy's? onto my beard. Yeah, man. Wendy's chili is the best. Um, and some dripped on my beard and I didn't notice. I, I was, so I was walking around like all day. Shout out to Wendy's. Shout out to Wendy's. Um, and, 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 and someone from, I'm walking around some horse just like, Okay, dude, you've had freaking chili in your beard for like three hours. I can't take it anymore. And I was like, it took you three hours to tell me I had something in my beard, you jerk? Yeah, no one uh, tells me when I have my shirts inside out because I just, early in the morning. No one I'm tells like, me when I have my pants off. Fuck. Like, God, God. No one complains when I'm naked. <laughs> no one complains when my balls are right, when what they're the like, hell? Matt, you have to leave the school. But mom. 
God damn it. And that's why I'm not allowed to arm schools anymore. That's why Matt's not. Hashtag restraining orders. Oh, God. Uh, well, I think this has been fun. I, I, I know that uh, Matt's got to get going to work soon. Um, but uh, but getting back, because I know we didn't really expand the, the switch. switch. Yes, the we didn't switch. really finish our talk on the switch. We were segue sitting over here, bitch. You know, the graphics are supposed to be the same on the con- on the, yeah, the tablet screen that. as on the TV. So does it mean that we're getting a lesser uh, thing on the TV? You well, it, well, again, it's going to depend because the issue is is that the screen's going to look fine, but you have to have the proper cables like you have with anything else. And right now, what's going to end up happening is another fad or whatever because now we're up to the 4K TVs oh. where it's supposed to look so much Screw better. That, and you know what? If I don't wear my glasses, every HD TV looks like a standard def TV. So you know what? I don't I even see, see the difference anyway. Yeah, I don't see the difference really anyways. I, like, Other than the fact of like you can tell that a little bit more colors difference. pop a little more, yeah, yeah, yeah. Color, especially when you're watching like a when you're watching an SD channel or something like that. On yeah, I know it's different than with that, that, but it's yeah, like, do I really need to see a football player's like, eyebrow sweat? Like, no. Yeah, no, no. But you want to see his butt crack, though. You want to see his butt crack. Hashtag centers for life. <laughs> <laughs> um, but no, the battery life I don't think is going to be that great on it. Mm-hmm. Um, the little uh, what were we calling them? Uh, joysticles. The joysticles. The joysticles. The joysticles. Like they're playing Mario Kart, like the way you would with a Wiimote, but like the shrunken down so much. Like guys with our hands, I don't think we're gonna be able yeah. to play them properly. That's yeah, suck. but let's it's be gonna serious. be like it's gonna be like this, and I'm like, yeah, like but really, you, hands put right together, and just like, okay, my fingers touch my other finger. Yeah, it's not gonna work. I don't think. Yeah, I don't know if it's gonna work or not. It, it seems like an interesting thing. Something that I saw was um, Skyrim. Yeah, so is that is that actually going to be on the... the uh, I'm not sure, but I'm sure if they're putting it in the commercials, they're going to... It's probably going to be. Because so right now cool. they're working on the port to uh, HD, right? So. Yeah. Well, Could let's happen. be fair, though. I was actually reading a news um, an article this morning about KFC being sued by an old lady because her eight-piece bucket did not overflow the bucket. So she says the commercial is misleading. So Skyrim wow. could potentially be misleading us because really it could just be a 20 second video that they have on there. TJ, what's up? Would you buy uh, the uh, Switch just for Skyrim? See, I've played Skyrim enough. Like I have. Like, how was your Khajiit? My Khajiit? Yeah. What about him? The one that uh, goes bare hands. Oh, the one who fights people with his bare hands. <laughs> yeah, he's good. Uh, he's he's good. Um, but my Is my he favorite. Happy? He's he's cool. Is he happy? So I don't remember what his name. I don't remember this conversation we had. We didn't have this conversation. No. You had it with uh, Anthony. Did I? Remember, I'm the number one fan of the Hotter Show. Yeah, he. So I haven't. I. I haven't <laughs> listened to the podcast since I did it. So I, I don't know. Remember and breaking kayfabe, but it was what a was, long his, time what was his ago. name again? What's his name? I don't remember, I don't remember that. I, I just him. remember the fact that. Cause he's gone. Like, I delete the file, right? He's well, gone. Yeah, like, he, I don't remember. Like to be fair, though, you delete all every, it all the time. You would do this to us. I remember Def Jam. Fight for New oh, York. God. That would be a great like, game. And oh, then he's bringing up characters. And then, worms here. And then um, Day of Reckoning. I I another I all the, I'd be like, yeah, bro, I had to start over. You know, and I would make all, all these great that. characters. One second yeah. be legit yeah. wrestlers. Yeah. Okay, and okay. The John Cena's of the world. And he deletes them. <sighs> okay, no, listen. Let me explain to you Adam's character that was on 2K12. Uh, 2K, uh, so Adam... Respect, fight, loyalty. So Adam had a guy. <laughs> he was uh, He was seven foot tall. And he so dressed he's in, already, he's already wrong. He's seven foot tall. So he's already uh, way to go by McMahon, right? Because yeah. he's seven foot tall. Yeah. Um, and he he wore a kilt, and Seth a Rollins downside. pants, um, and then he had um, he had some kind of a, a, a helmet on. I don't remember what it was. Yeah, McMahon's and he, already. Uh, and he he his like skin it. color was lime green with scars all over it, and his finishing maneuvers. Not to mention he 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 would he had the speed of a cruiserweight, right? <laughs> he was seven feet tall with the speed of a cruiserweight. Because we all know how uh, good great Kali was in the ring. Yeah, whoa, whoa, he was whoa. like invincible. Look at Cass; he's seven he's foot what? tall. He's not actually seven foot tall though. Is he's he six that. Of ten. Yeah, he's six well, I mean, ten. Fucking, he's close enough. <laughs> well, What's that, what sounds better? He's seven foot tall. Or he's six foot ten inches hey, tall. Hey, people notice two inches. <laughs> right, ladies? No, they don't. I could speak from spirit. They don't notice it. <laughs> can't, can't, no, we well, can't have. You know, you first have to have two inches, not like you, Adam. Yeah. 
I've got eight. <laughs> Next thing you know, I'm just gonna whip his dick out. So let's go ahead and not. Uh, <laughs> let's go ahead and not. <laughs> go oh, speaking of this. So I was, my uh, dick. <laughs> I was I was watching a video this earlier today, right? Don't worry, it's not a porno. And this <laughs> worry, actress um, was talking to Zach Galifianakis, right? And he felt uncomfortable kissing, right? And the girl he was kissing was very attractive. Um, is a Fisher or something like that? New movie coming uh, out. Amy meet, Fisher, yeah. Yeah, Meet the Millers, I think it's called. He's not in the, oh, no, he's meet, not in the, the middle. Uh, uh, keeping up with the Joneses. Or okay, something. keeping, keeping up, up with the Joneses. the Joneses. Okay, so she's she said she kept going to Zach. Look, it's gonna be fine. We'll do it in one take. It's gonna be awesome. He, what he said was, "My dick just went back into my body." So I'm just saying though, is sometimes things just happen. Sometimes you're you're like junk just goes back inside yourself, <laughs> and it just ruins the mood. Is that fucking yourself? Yeah, I would and then so. and then he asks, so. "How was your husband doing?" That's that is a cock block on your that own. That is a cock block on yourself. All right. Oh, speaking God. of cock blocks, so mad. <laughs> back to TJ. <laughs> That's all I got. It's so mad. Oh, we're, we're doing it back to me. Back to me. Um, so uh, weather's really nice outside. Back to Adam. Okay. So speaking of this topic before, my cruiserweight champion of oh, the yes. world that. Has the X Division title and the World Heavyweight Champion was like the Bobby Lashley, and you know what? I, I changed it up so he's eighty four percent average. He was he was just awesome. He was different. He was unique, and you know what? He is just like WWE's creative team. Anything that is different, he shuts it down. Not, How does it true. feel, TJ? Okay. You shut it down. Okay, so he is his... the Vince McMahon of the wrestling games. In Bring back house. Stardust. Okay, so you're the reason Cody Rhodes isn't around anymore. Well, Cody Rhodes didn't want to be do Stardust. Yeah, anymore, I know, Ed. I know. But See, that's like that. TJ. He doesn't. He doesn't like things that are different. He makes that's twenty characters true. of himself in all of them. That's not even true. I made Dude, one. I don't know. I made zombie refs one time for a storyline. You made what? Zombie refs. Interesting. Yeah. But TJ, TJ, no mercy. Was there a character of you? Absolutely. WrestleMania 2000. Was there a character of you? Yeah. Day Reckoning 1. I thought you meant every... Well, I, well, like, with I, one I, game. I, uh, Day Reckoning 1. <sighs> yes. Day Reckoning 2. No, actually. Yeah, because that game was stupid. It was terrible. It was... It wasn't was good was like, one. That was the, the worst with, one. The, true, the only true problem I really had with it was the stamina meter. They, yeah. The stamina meter was... the entire game. But now we're so used to stamina meters in those games. Yeah, but it wasn't as bad. That one was like you like ran for a second, you fall over and die. <laughs> I, <laughs> it was so bad. Well, considering the first one, all I do is run around and fucking just keep hitting the running moves. And oh, then, you're one of those guys. I feel like well, I would get so mad at you if we played, get, played hey, it. Hey, I love to... I was beating people up with my feet in that game. Yeah, but... I was that good. But the one thing I want to say, though, is... Don't day, need a counter. Day, day erecting, though, the one thing I learned from that is when you're playing with friends... And you break up their finishers, you're gonna probably get punched in the throat. Oh my! True God. story okay. happened to me once. Okay, so we'll, we'll end off with this here, but but real quick, um, Adam's finisher uh, in, in 2K12 with his character, a seven foot tall cruiserweight. Um, he created his own finishers, obviously, right? So, I am pretty creative. Go um, on. He, his finisher it was uh, three power bombs into a brain buster, I believe, into a pedigree. <laughs> <laughs> and then I want to say he ended it off with a pile driver of something. That guy's kind. dead. Something, something along those lines. Okay, well, okay. It was like eighteen moves fair, though, put together. Was, the driver didn't actually happen because what I would do was I put him over my shoulder, flip him over like um, oh, a wait, reverse yeah, 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 yeah. Um, uh, deathly d- driver. Then I would flip him over again. Then I would spin him around between my legs. Then I would pretend to go into the peg- pedigree. And then I go into a pile driver. So it was just more like spinning around it's like just, a ballerina. It's, it's just, and then and then he had like a, a quadruple jump moonsault. <laughs> I glitched the game. He I won. He glitched the game up and he, he literally you couldn't beat him because it was like... I mean, it's funny now, but when you're fighting him, it's not very funny. It's not like my character who was like a normal wrestler. Yeah. Do you oh. know what? It takes like what two three hours to make the move make a character's move set. It takes I me like do... six hours to make a character in general. Apparently. I know it takes so long. Twenty e- minutes. Even making like the simple characters, you're like, well, okay, what do I want for move set? Well, I want this punch and that. <laughs> that so you, kick. And... So you haven't seen my like my WWE games. You haven't seen them yet. Like no. how much work I've also into never, the played never played in WWE. Yes, this is true. We will, but but um, we're going to PS3. Oh yeah, it's dead. 
Anyway, uh, yeah, my PS3 too died. Soon. I need to figure too it out. Soon, sorry, guys. Uh, sorry, PS3. R.I.P. TJ's PS3. Um, there's no me anything. One more silence with PS3. Xbox is better. Yeah, Xbox uh, is better. Shut up, Adam. But um, we're going to end off with this story here uh, of, of Adam being punched in the throat when he broke up a finisher. Okay, so one time, myself, Adam, and our friend, uh, whom we named Nameless, um, he's no longer around. Uh, he's still alive. He's just not around anymore. Um, we were playing Dave Reckoning. In high school, after exams. In high school, after exams. And um, we're, we're fighting it out. We're having a good little uh, wrestling match. And um, Adam has a habit of breaking up finishers, which we said is kind of a rule we don't do. And to be fair, though, the reason I broke it up was I kind of power bombed someone on the ground. And in that case, if people it collided. Was an it was an accident. In this this one case, it was an accident. But every other time before, he didn't Well, Well, to be fair, though, one out of a thousand times is pretty good like i mean you can't you can't keep a standard like if you don't break it up then they win you can't let the terrorists win back to you tj so we're, we're doing this and um adam power bombs someone and um breaks up uh, this other guy's finisher on me and uh he gets so angry so violently angry that he turns to adam and he punches him in the throat <laughs> this is the same guy who also punched me in the throat at a previous date, also bashed my head into a um, bus window just Sounds because. Like a good friend. Uh, and then also the grand finale of the whole thing, Adam once told this gentleman that he had too much testosterone in his body, so he <laughs> punched him in the face. Did you remember what he said? And he said, don't talk about my penis like that. <laughs> and then he walked away. Sounds so, like a good guy. Yeah, he's a good dude. Um, we, uh, we don't miss him. Are we, um, <laughs> that's bad. I shouldn't say that. No, we miss the guy. Um, but yeah, no, so that was funny. Um, yeah, so that's all I got. I got nothing else. Okay, um, so we're going to end this podcast on a high note. Matt, to you. Hi. How are you doing, listeners? Are you having a good day? I'm having a good day. I'm glad you came and listened to our podcast. Yeah. Thanks for listening. You remember... Uh, subscribe to iTunes. You know, it's really good for listens. Remember to like, subscribe, uh, re... And share. Sharing is a really good thing. You know, if I have a I'm bag of chips, you know, I'm going to I'm gonna let you have some chips because I'm a nice guy and I share. So you should be a nice guy and share too. Remember, like they teach us in school, sharing is caring. That's why I share all my STDs. <laughs> Okay, so uh, share, subscribe. If you guys are, li- I'm going to do this properly here. If you guys are listening on the SoundCloud, be sure to leave a like and comment on this podcast. Let us know what you thought of it. Let us know if there's anything going on that you want to join in on. And of course, be sure to hit the subscribe button on the SoundCloud as well. And remember, our sponsor is Viagra. If it doesn't say Pfizer on it, it's not the real thing. Also, if you have a boner longer than four hours and you did not take our pill, please do not call us. Please don't call us. <laughs> but please watch the 40-year-old version. They teach you how to deal with it. Thank you. Absolutely. Uh, and, of course, if you're listening on the YouTube, be sure to leave a like or a dislike on this video, depending on what you thought of it. Think Comment of your life away. Think of don't remember. Uh, another sponsor. get through this. Here. Well, don't forget. Uh, another sponsor is Logan coming out in 2017. Thank you. And that is the hand of Deadpool uh, holding his hand. <laughs> you remember? I'm going to touch myself tonight with that. Spoiler alert. Ahead. Um, also, one of our other sponsors... The Hotter Show. We are a sponsor of ourselves. Remember to buy some of our t-shirts. You know why? That helps sponsor us. That helps buy new stuff. And you know what? It's only a dollar a day. We're working on some new shirts. You know, hopefully we'll have them soon. Uh, it's going to be a little bit more expensive, guys. But you know how it's how the economy goes. You know, I kind of lost some money last time, but let's uh, you know still buy my shirts. Let's make TJ great again. Let's make TJ great again. <laughs> Remember, we are coming out with some <laughs> different stuff, That's though. Funny. Some wristbands. And we're also working on this brand of Speedo. Please tell us what <laughs> do you like. It's a picture of me on the truck. <laughs> we're all, do, we're, how do you want the hotter <laughs> positioned? The hotter show Speedo. How do you want my face positioned on your do you want the <laughs> Do you want the <clears throat> private area as a microphone? Or do you want it just to say the hotter on it? And the bigger the swim trunks get... The more of the show you see. So if you're fully, <laughs> let's just say, out of the pool, it will say the hotter show. In the pool, it will just say. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, we're also God. working on trying to get some women V-necks 
because uh, we know all you ladies out there want to wear the sexy hotter show brand, but you also want to show off your sexy bits too. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> uh, you're going a little too far there because, you know what? They won't want to be on the side boob hour. You're, you're killing us. We, hey, we maybe, maybe there are fans of the hotter show. Maybe they will be on the side boob hour. Maybe they'll be on the side boob hour. We never you said never that it had to be naked. You don't have to be naked. We just need side boob. Yeah. Because that's my side boob. <laughs> that's my side boob. That's my side boob. And uh, last but not least... We're sponsored by Aaron Rodgers. We actually only have one sponsor. Uh, I already shot him in earlier. <laughs> but I'll shot him in again. J. Bridget Alerts. Uh, and of course, if you guys are listening on the iTunes, which Matt already said to subscribe to, but uh, be sure to hit subscribe on that and leave a little rating. Leave five stars or I'll kill you. Uh, leave five stars or Matt will kill you. And remember, we're also on the Disney Channel. Okay, so if you subscribe, like, and share on the Disney Channel, we will very appreciate it. We are making Disney great again. We are going to make Disney great again, folks. Okay, that's it for us. We're going to turn off the microphones now. Yeah, have um, a magic carpet ride. Have a magic <laughs> carpet ride, uh, Matthew and Adam. Thank you for hanging out with me and bringing me pizza. You're welcome. You're welcome. Pacific Hut Sexual Healing. <laughs> <laughs> we will catch you guys next time on the Hottie Show. Take it easy.